when you lose so many guys, I think there's a, you know, a new kind of team. You gotta kind of forge your own identity. This year's squad has a much different look than last season's Sweet 16 team. Uh, we're gonna look to establish the post first, you know, obviously, because uh, that's that's gonna be our main strength. I think we've got more of an inside threat, and I think we'll have more of an inside attack. We should be a better defensive team this year than we were last year, size-wise, experience-wise. The departures of Devendorf, Flynn, and Harris may have changed the makeup of the Orange, but that doesn't mean their goals are any different. Returning players are ready to lead the Cuse in its quest for a national championship. The leadership we have, the experience we have. We got the leaders and Andy Rollins and myself, we, we're the vocal leaders, and I mean, we're going to lead by example on the court, too. You know, I take on the challenge of uh, being a leader out here, uh, you know, mentally and uh, keeping these guys in, uh, in it vocally. The two fifth-year players understand their role in the locker room, but on the floor, there's less of a clear-cut leader. That's not necessarily a bad thing. The best teams in college basketball every year, if you look closely at the top teams, they're teams that are well-balanced. I don't think we're going to have one main focus leader. I just think every, just the whole team as a group is going to help each other. Yeah, we ain't trying to fill no shoes with Johnny, Eric, or Paul. Them guys, they're great players. We're just trying to just do what we got to do for our team to win. We're definitely well equipped enough to, to compete at a high level and be top in the Big East. In the past, guys like Carmelo Anthony, Jerry McNamara, Eric Stevendorf, and Johnny Flynn were the face of the Orange. This year, it's a little bit different. It's the faces of the Orange, 13 leaders who share responsibilities and identify themselves as a team. Eva Zacharia, Citrus TV.